guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over a caricature of this guy right here. So let's kind of get into it. Um, I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker and I'm going to be using uh, this, uh, what do you call this? It's a Prismacolor, uh, Prismacolor pencil basically. I'm using the Prismacolor pencil to get my base. You know, just an idea of who, what's going on. And I might be using this Copec marker every now and then just to kind of get certain points out. And uh, I wanted to go over, you know, there's a couple of different ways to draw this particular guy here. And he's got a very interesting face. His face has a lot of character in it, so I did pick it. Uh, let me, uh, so let's kind of start on him. I'm going to start with the head shape first, actually. Head shape first. He's, his head's kind of coming out of his, uh, of his shoulders there. So I'm going to draw him pretty much with no neck. I mean, that'd be the general shape type. And you know what? That Sharpie smells horrific. Oh my god. I cannot. I cannot stand it. So I'm going to change over to this Copec marker. And I'm going to get the top of the head over here. And you got to remember something about caricatures. Caricatures are really a representation of who that person is. It's not so much, you're not doing a full-blown portrait of that person. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be just a representation of who they are. And uh, an impression, a first impression uh, idea of who they are, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not exactly supposed to be, like I said, everything full detail. You can. I've seen guys do that. Some guys do do full detail. That's great, you know? But you don't have to do that. It's not, it's not necessary to do that, but, you know, you can do that. Uh, this marker's dying. What the hell? I'm going to use this other side of the marker. It's still thinner than the other Sharpie marker. Still doesn't smell at all. Throw on his ears, little tiny ears. Everything is tiny on him because he's a big guy, you know? Getting his uh, eyes. Kind of shell shock look. He's got blue eyes, so I usually just put a little dot inside each eye. If he had black eyes, or black eyes, if he had brown eyes, I would fill that dot in. I'm pulling his nose way up because uh, it makes his, you know, he's got clearly a big ball of the nose. And I'm pulling it way up on his face. Making almost no expression with his mouth. Oops, I got the sides of the cheek there. He's got kind of a little bit of bag underneath his uh, eye. His eyes making it look a little squished together. And his chin kind of just floats in the middle of his face. There, I'm gonna try to make that look like a crease. He's got mole. Anyways, that's one example of the way I would draw him. You know what I mean? He needs more of a sideburns, you know. You kind of look at it. Like, does that give, um, you know, a decent impression of who that person is just first off? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. I think he could look a little bit older. I think I could make him look a little bit older here. You know what I mean? Every time you draw somebody, you know what I mean? Whether it be a caricature, um, you're going to get a different impression of who they are. You know what I mean? You're gonna. It's going to change a little bit. So let's try another version. Let's try a more extreme version. You know, more extreme version. Um, let me kind of like try to widen him out because he's got a very wide look. It also seems kind of like he kind of has the number eight look a little bit. So I'm going to try to see if I can capture that at all. And you're trying to push whatever feature he has. You're trying to push it a little bit because it's a, it's a caricature. Caricatures are, you know, made to, to kind of push it, try to take that character, whatever's different about them, and try to make it a little bit more extreme, you know? See, so I'm going to try to push his nose, maybe shrink his eyes, because his eyes, I think, are a little bit smaller. They may look a little bit smaller, so I'm going to try to make them look really small. So this is an example of me trying to, to push, push it, you know? Let me um, 
So yeah, I get the positions of where I want the features there. I'm gonna draw from the if uh, this one from the inside out first. Making sure to kind of control myself to keep my uh, features a little smaller than I would have originally, because the first one was uh, just the natural way I would draw. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to push myself a little bit to kind of keep my features as small as I can. I mean, keep my features smaller than normal. And that's why I draw the little outline with a pencil, because sometimes I'll just automatically draw things the same proportion as they were before and I'm like, well that was that was weird. And I draw he's got a very big ball of the nose. I'm gonna make that much crazier than it is. For an effect, you know? You're doing everything for an effect. Trying to make that line a little bit thicker around the nose. Side of the mouth. Tiny, let's see the mouth here and keep it keep it tiny. Draw the lower lip here. Draw his butt chin there. lower portion of his face hopefully you can see that on screen I'm gonna pull his other collar over here and then now this is the hard part I'm gonna try to keep his head I have control myself and try to keep his head smaller because that's what I'm trying to exaggerate. Make it a little bit smaller than normal. And finally his ears. See more of the lower portion of his ears and then he's got that mole. I'm not going to exaggerate that mole because I think he could but it's protruding but I don't see it as being a giant part of his character. It's definitely a part of his character but I don't see it as being as giant a part as it could be. You know what I mean? Where some people have a total total protruding mole where it's like crazy. Let's see, what could I change here? Anywho, that's two ways of uh, drawing a caricature. I just want to show you guys really quick. Uh, you know, like I said, you, you're you're basically every time you draw it. Like I said, I could draw this a hundred times. It'll be different every time based on how you're feeling, what you want to do. If you feel like exaggerating, you feel like you don't want to. You know, um, play around with shapes. You know what I mean? By that would really help. And see if you can capture somebody's character. You know, what I mean? I'm not sure. This one I think captures it more. This is me trying to push a little bit. I think I pushed a little too much. I think his nose is a little bit too round. You know, I, everybody, you know, I have my own criticisms, so I'm trying to stay as objective as possible. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Please subscribe for more caricature stuff, and I'll talk to you later.